You guys, I just stopped the video. I don't know how to combine them. I don't know. We're just going to leave this like this. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll be able to combine <laughs> the last video. I just hit a button and it just completely stopped recording. So basically, <laughs> because I don't know how to put them together. We're just going to start over from here. I am making... <laughs> Vegan mac and cheese from the Dayer brand. And of course, it's not like baked macaroni and cheese how we normally eat it. Um, but we're just going to test it out just to see how it tastes. Um, it's going to be for my daughter doesn't know that this is vegan. So this is going to be going into her lunch for tomorrow. So I'm going to tell her after the fact. So we'll see. We'll see what she says. If she liked it, great. If she didn't, it's okay. So basically, this is what it looks like. Let me backtrack so you guys know exactly what I said a few minutes ago. So, it's it to boil two quarts, which is eight cups of water, in a medium saucepan and stir in the macaroni pasta. I don't get why you have to stir it in. Normally, I always just drop it in, but whatever. I started after the fact that I dropped it in. You cook it for seven, eight minutes. Um, then you drain the pasta, which I just did, and then put the cheese packing in it and stir until blended and it says it makes three servings which is really kind of odd because don't most things come with four servings i don't know i'm honestly i never really pay that much attention to serving size um and those some people did ask me to make do a vegan lasagna so that is still going to be on the list um of things i'm going to make um what else did i say that you guys missed this video will be uploaded back on a regular scheduled program of tuesdays on facebook and wednesdays on youtube the facebook page is cooking with love it's spelled the same way it is on the youtube channel and please like share subscribe um share it um you never know it might be good to somebody somebody may be looking for something i'm talking about so what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste test now and then I'm going to add my seasonings that I normally would put in my macaroni and cheese. So, yeah. Grab a fork. <laughs> so, I'm going to do this. It doesn't taste vegan. You know, like some... I haven't tasted a lot of vegan cheese, but... You know, some of them are like, this doesn't taste like real cheese at all. This tastes pretty good. Like, I'm really surprised. It's not bad. I don't think my daughter's going to really notice or pay attention. She really has, like, every blue moon, I'll let her get, like, the little pack of macaroni and cheese for her lunch. But she's not, like, she doesn't ask for it that often. Yeah. On comparison to macaroni and cheese like this. Of course, it's not our traditional baked <laughs> macaroni and cheese. So, I'm going to add my Tony's, which I always do. But if you're used to regular macaroni and cheese, like in the back of your head, you'll want to like put some real cheese in here. But that's not the point of being vegan and staying away from dairy. You guys, so I saw that the Burger King, what is it called? The uh, Impossible Burger has like a lot of estrogen in it. And low key, I've been like, they need to start rating all this stuff because legit, all the estrogen is causing cancer and <laughs> God bless me, uh, other types of issues. And I've been like, we're, we're, really leery of some of the vegan stuff um ever since i stopped being vegan because of uh one i was kind of sick of it but two because of all the um and don't get me wrong you can't be a raw vegan and not have to deal with some of the processed vegan stuff um but all of the tofu and soy and just Stuff that we really shouldn't have in our bodies. Um, but don't get me wrong. You can be a raw vegan. And it's vegan in other ways. It's just the processed stuff. is just no bueno. So we're going to try this again. with a little bit of 
what a seasoning can do, you guys. Season makes everything bad. Don't eat bland foods. <laughs> but I told you guys I was going to try a couple of milk of non, like, not your traditional, uh, like, coconut milk and almond milk. I tried the silk oat. Oat, yeah. Oat milk. This stuff is really good. And the texture. You know how some, like, almond milk has, I don't want to say texture, but the creaminess of it. Like, to me, the creamiest is the cashew milk. Has great taste. But, to me, it's not best for cereal. To me, almond milk is best for cereal. This, to me, is a good competitor to put in cereal. Um, I just wonder about cooking with some of these. I'm, I'm very curious about that. So, I might experiment i still haven't tried the hemp milk yet um i might do that for a mukbang we'll see a mukbang however it is mukbang or something i think it's technically the way you pronounce it Muk mukbang whatever you guys know what i'm talking about but this is really good i was really surprised so if you're looking for another alternative if you are um have a nut allergy this will be probably a good alternative for you it says, yeah, dairy-free oat milk. So I don't think it has any nuts in it at all. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, so this is an option, you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here real quick and talk to you guys about that. Um... You know, I do want to talk about this quick topic. And, you know, normally I always have a topic for y'all. It's only been a couple times where I haven't. Um, just persevering through the tough moments. Um, I recently started going to therapy. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this on camera. But it's necessary. I think I've talked about it. I think I've talked about um, wanting to go. But it was like... A ray of sunshine that I desperately needed and I'll go into more detail at a later date on you know the things that caused me to go but and it's something I've always wanted I won't say always always but with me getting into the mental health it was something I've always wanted to do and so I finally went and it was it was thoroughly needed it was great it was amazing and I don't know I have people in my life that I can talk to but it's, it was something refreshing and different of talking to someone who doesn't know me at all. Like, know me, you know. Um, yeah, it was good. And I, I really suggest, you know, even if you can't find someone. By, like, I've heard of, like, talk space. I think that's what it's called. And different avenues people can use. But, you know, I please, find you someone you can talk to. Um, it was just really... It was therapeutic. It was very helpful. You know, that it just, it helped me to keep persevering through, you know, the rough times, rough moments. And it also, like I said, it was like a ray of sunshine. So for me, it like brought some light back into some areas that had become dark. Um, and kind of like losing hope in some places and not fully, you know, of course I have my faith and all of that. But you know, sometimes listen, Sometimes things can be a process and sometimes it's very helpful to listen to others who can help you see the light again. Because sometimes like, oh no, and like I was talking about before, like perspective, this hair that is sticking up on the top of my head is like, anyway, sorry. But you know to help see the light again because sometimes things can seem so dark and damn and impossible and not that you don't believe what you want or what you're striving for isn't going to happen. But sometimes like the, the road of getting to that point seems like, oh my gosh, like it feels like it's 20 years away, even though in reality it might be like two, you know, but it, it feels like such a daunting task, you know, so it just really refreshed me in a lot of ways. I feel like myself again. Um, yeah, like. It was much needed, much, much, much needed. And really today, I really didn't feel like recording because I was just like, I don't feel like it today, not today. But I'm like, if I don't do it today, 
it's not gonna happen. I need to do this for my daughter's lunch tomorrow. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna persevere through how I'm actually feeling and I'm just gonna do it. And I don't know who needs to hear what I'm talking about, but I pray that it helps you. Um, you know, God is amazing and I'm I'm so grateful for him putting the right people in my life, no matter if I can really see their value initially or not. Um, but yeah, you know, God is amazing. Like, I'm not gonna cry today, <laughs> but he just is. And it's this song, I think I might've talked to you guys about it, but anyway, in the song, the young lady sings about how God keeps getting better and he really does. But I think it's sometimes up to us not always, but sometimes to like really step back and like look and see things differently and really see that God is for us and not against us. And sometimes when he doesn't allow certain things to happen, it feels like a setback or I know it ain't never happening. And, it, and God's like, no, I'm helping you. I'm grooming you and I'm helping you be better. You know, when I was younger, I wanted to do certain things. I mean, I wanted to be a supermodel or whatever. And then I realized like, oh, you're short. That's never going to happen. <laughs> um, And so many things I, I wanted. And it's like, yeah, if I would have had those things then, you know, at 18, 19, 17, like I was ill prepared. Like I would have been a hot mess. Not a nice person, you know, like probably mistreating people very badly. And, you know, it just makes me grateful that my life took a different path, that God did say no. You know, I'm an avid parent of telling my daughter no sometimes just because, like, you need to learn no now versus later when the world tells you no and then you don't know how to deal with it. And I think sometimes God is trying to get us to that point too with certain things like, no, it's not no forever, <laughs> you know, but you need to learn now so that you're not devastated later on in life. Ooh. You're not devastated later on in life because listen, some of us have heard it all, and it's like been earth shattering. I've been there, <laughs> you know, and that's just reality. But I'm grateful for the nose, and you know, it just makes me furthermore just grateful for the process, even though sometimes it hurts and it sucks. <laughs> But on the outside, I know I'm victorious. You know, I know I'm coming out on top. And, you know, God, I really just can't say enough. God is amazing. And, you know, I just pray for each and every one of us who may be going through an earth-shattering situation where you feel like it's oblique and there's no change coming and you feel hopeless. I just pray for God's strength for you. I pray for his peace. I pray for his joy. I pray that... He restores you. I pray that, you know, his overwhelming love just consumes us and that we can see the light again and and know that it's not the end of the road. It's not the end of our lives and that the best is yet to come. You know, I'm an avid believer in that saying in so many different volumes and, and ways in our lives. You know, like, if we just keep going, like we haven't seen anything yet like literally you know but it comes from trusting his process and really letting go and allowing god to do whatever god wants to do and even like i say you know, it's tough. it can be so tough it can be feels like yo legit it can feel like life is choking you <laughs> but this too shall pass you know we have to just keep persevering through the tough times and know that without a shadow of a doubt, God has our best interests at heart. And I think that's what makes things so hard sometimes. Like we're going through these things and it's like, God, do you hear me? Do you care? And it's like, God's like, no, I have you. Like I know what's best for you. And it doesn't feel like it all the time. Like I am can attest to that. <laughs> like, it's like, hold up, excuse me, sir. I know you heard, you said you heard my prayers, you heard my cry, but <laughs> to see the manifestation of some of my prayers <laughs> and that can be tough waiting for that but 
You know, I think that's why it's so key to begin to live in your purpose and do those things that we're called to do. And sometimes it helps to like go focus on someone else and go go cheer them on or help them through their situation so that you're not so blogged down on what you have. But I get it. Sometimes it can be really tough to just push through, you know. And sometimes all you have is a minute at a time to, to make it through certain things, you know. But I just pray God's strength for each and every person going through right now. And every person watching this who may know someone who's going through, you know, it can be tough. And I ask that you guys check on your strong friends because nine times out of ten, they will never tell you what is really going on. Um, I'm somewhat that person. Like, I don't even tell me what really be going on. <laughs> it took me going to a therapist to, like, really lay some stuff out. You know, I tell God, you know, and some things I don't even speak to God. God just knows, you know, like, listen. You know, sir, <laughs> but um, I'm just grateful to be in the place that I am now and feeling like myself again. Um, like I said, I'll go into more detail in a later video about some of the things that were going on, but I'm just grateful, you guys. I'm grateful to know how to press through for therapy, for the family and friends that I have, for those that consistently pray for me, even though I don't know everyone who prays for me, but I'm just grateful. And I'm going to end this video about here. I pray you guys have an amazing day, night, whatever time you end up watching this. <laughs> um, and if you make any of the recipes I've tried, I ask that you let me know. Send me a picture of it. How to turn it on. How'd you like it? Um, my Instagram is Gigi Lux. That's G-I-G-I-L-U-X-E. -I -I so is my Twitter. I haven't been on Twitter lately. And Twitter, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. But anyway, my Insta, my um, YouTube is Monique Gigi, M O N I Q U E G I G I. And like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, on the Facebook as well. It's called Cooking with Love, C O O K I N apostrophe. I think that's the right way to say it. Um, with Love. And yeah, I post videos on there now on Tuesdays. So we're back to our schedule because we're out of the holiday season. It's back to normal business. Um, and then Wednesdays on YouTube. So if anything I said blessed you or you feel like it's for someone else, share with them. You never know. Um, or send it to a strong friend who may possibly be going through something that you have no idea about. Um, but yeah, you guys, I pray you guys have an amazing day, night, whatever time you end up watching this. <laughs> And stay blessed. I pray this not only fed your soul. Oops, I put it in the wrong one. I pray it fed your stomach. And I pray it fed your soul. Um, God bless you guys. Good night. I'm saying good night because it's not here right now. So, this will be going up Tuesday. But yeah, love you guys. Bye.